Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we are finally going to finish the Zillow Beast mock. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video because I will be announcing my next mock project. It has been months in the making and I'm super excited to get this done, not only to show you guys and everything like that, but uh, just to get it done and start a new project and stuff like that. This thing has eaten up like all of my spare part collection and I'm just really excited to start a new project. But yeah, it, this turned out pretty good. Um, I had grand visions, but you know, I was limited to what I could get. For the amount of money I spent on this, I think I spent about $100 between BrickLink orders for like specific parts and going to Bricks and Minifigs and just getting spare parts. So around 100, 150 bucks, let's say. I'm really proud of myself that I was able to create something this big for so cheap. But I did have a lot in the collection beforehand, so that's why it was so cheap for me because I had a lot of these parts on hand already. You will see I did cut corners in some areas, but I think overall it turned out great. But without further ado, let's get into it. I had finished the RX200 a while back. Uh, you can check out a cinematic video that I'll have in the description, but also in the top right corner. Really love how this turned out and I'm probably gonna keep this built for a long time, if not indefinitely. I just love this thing so much. So if you remember in previous episodes, I made a giant like gray kind of terrain there and I ended up taking it apart for a couple mocks that I did for videos and stuff like that. So I needed to rebuild it, but I wanted to do it a little bit different. I didn't want it to be just plain gray. I wanted to add some color to it, even if it wasn't totally accurate. Um, these are just the parts that I had on hand, so, but that's okay, you know, uh, you gotta make do with what you have and let imagination, uh, kind of take the wheel. But I incorporated some dark tan, uh, some of that nougat, some brown, and then of course the gray, which I think all really work together. The Republic Ion Cannon, also known as the RX200, is kind of hanging off a little bit, but, but that's okay. I didn't want to go too crazy with it too wide open. I ended up putting some clear and trans green tiles and pieces at the bottom of this just to give it kind of like a misty kind of look. I think it turned out okay. I ran out of parts. For the Zillow Beast itself, I was so far into it, I couldn't deal with a redesign. So I ended up just kind of powering through, but it utilized a lot of Technic, a lot of ball joints, a lot of hinges, all that stuff. Um, so brown is really hard to find, at least when I went to Bricks and Minifigs and their spare parts stuff, and even my own personal collection. And there, there's a lot of brittle pieces, I tell you. Oh my gosh, the amount of pieces I broke during the making of this is ridiculous. That's kind of why I didn't want to buy anything unless it was brand new from the LEGO website. So yeah. But overall, I think it turned out really well. I had a lot of trouble with the eye of the Zillow Beast. Uh, I went through a couple different iterations before landing on this, and I think this turned out great. I absolutely love the eye of the Zillow Beast. And I think overall, the, the shape of it is good. I don't think it's exact by any means, but I think it does the job. You get the gist, you know it's the Zillow Beast. But yeah, when I finished up the head and the mouth, teeth and all that stuff, I'm like, something's missing. I don't know what it could be. And it was the uh, horns on the back of the neck and the head. So I ended up putting those in and it looked a lot better in my opinion. 
I added some clones, I added some Jedi, and I added some crates and everything like that, just to add a little bit more detail into it. I did try to add the tubes and like with the gas uh, pouring in and everything like that. And it, it was just too big. It didn't come out right. I didn't want to do half of it or anything like that. I just didn't have the space. The Zillow Beast was taking up way too much space. So I ended up putting in just a tiny little rock formation, but yeah. But with all that being said and done, I, it's finished. So sit back and relax and just watch some cinematic video. It is a Zillow beast. They once roamed Manister, devouring our ancestors. They are supposed to be extinct. Apparently, they're not. overall just really happy with this i put a lot of trial and error and work and all that stuff into it so i hope you guys enjoy it as much as i do but with that being said it's done and now the video will live on in our memories and now it's time to start the next project so for the next project i went back and forth on a lot of different battles and stuff like that and i ended up deciding that i want to do a hoth mock and before you say anything i know it's a very overdone mock and you know battle and everything like that but i have a few ideas to make it very unique and my own i just have a lot of the parts for it so um why not i've always wanted to do a hoth mock ever since i was a kid um, if you actually go back in my channel a long ways away, maybe like 11 years, 12 years ago, uh, I did a Hoth mock with a buddy of mine and it was, it, it was, you know, it was, but yeah, I'm super excited to start with this and, uh, it's definitely going to be a very unique, uh, build video. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to start immediately. I'm really excited for it. I'm going to tear apart the Zilla beast and use the parts for um, maybe another vehicle or just something, you know, you never know. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you thought about the mock in the comments down below. Um, what did you like? What did you want to see more improved? Any and all comments are appreciated. It helps out with the video a lot. So thank you all so much and I'll see you in the next one.